Join me on January 10th when I'll be sharing some of the experiences and lessons I learnt when I produced a video series on climate restoration and how some of the lessons I learnt may be of value to you as your organisation develops and you move towards your goal of creating a world in which all life can thrive by 2050. I'm lucky enough to live in a quiet town with a gentle climate and fertile land where life seems safe and predictable. Like everybody else, I knew about climate change and how it's just getting worse and worse and figured the only way to combat it was by cutting fossil fuels, which seems like a losing battle. I was fed up with listening to competing stories of how we're doomed and stories of how everything's going to be all right. Who do you believe? People suffering all over the world from floods, from droughts, from heat waves. This is all due to the CO2 in the atmosphere that we already have. And this CO2 in the atmosphere is not going away anywhere. Uh, global warming to me is one of the two great existential issues facing humanity. The other one is uh, nuclear power and weapons. So I'm really appreciative of the opportunity to read these scripts and help them get a larger purchase in the world. Are you ready? Okay. But amid all these ever-growing catastrophes, this is a story about how it may just be possible to repair a climate in freefall by removing the carbon dioxide and methane that are responsible for rising temperatures, sea levels, and disastrous weather events. This fundamental approach is referred to as climate restoration, and it involves a range of scientists based on how nature removes these two gases. Goals are essential, but to achieve them, we need to develop a shared vision of what the world could look like if we all work together, restoring the planet and climate. How does it make you feel reading that? It just reaffirms how close to the edge we actually are and how little attention goes into um, positive models. The fundamental job of the television news is to keep your eyeballs available to their advertisers. So to do that, every story is framed in the most exciting, dramatic way. You don't get a lot of good news because people don't remember it. So when I see this and when I read the script, I'm really glad to be participating in something that's going to make a balanced and positive view explain the pluses and the minuses carefully. <laughs>